Hi guys and welcome to DIY with Nadia. Today I'm on video number two for Christmas in July. I will link right above my first one and so this is my second one and then my third one is going to be July 31st. So for the second video I am doing all pine cones and so I'm going to have different types of DIYs with pine cones. I really hope you guys are going to love them. Before we get started on our video, I also wanted to mention that this video is part of a challenge. This challenge is being hosted by Mama Dare to DIY and The Sweet Urban Rose. I will link their channels down below, just in case you're not subscribed to their channels yet. I love both of these ladies. Also, I will be including a playlist. You can watch all the other DIYers and what they have done. So after watching this video, click on that little link and enjoy. With that being said, let's get into this video. To start this project, I'm going to use this little pail. I got it for 50 cents at Hobby Lobby. It's very similar to the size that you can get at the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to give it about two coats of Rust-Oleum chalk paint in linen white. Using that same chalk paint, I'm just grabbing a foam brush and I'm just patting the paint on the edges. I found that this way is the quickest and best because the pine cones do have some sharp edges. But if you just tap, tap, tap on the edges, it works really, really nicely. Now I'm grabbing my dry bucket and first I'm pouring some stones inside. This is for stability. Then I'm grabbing my green floral foam from the Dollar Tree and just placing it inside. I did put hot glue around because I decided to make this decoration permanent. I wanted to make sure it's nice and secure. Now I'm just putting a 12 inch dowel that I got at Michael's into the foam ball, measuring how it's going to look in the bucket and then cutting off the excess. To start on the topiary ball, we are going to use some greenery and this is a Christmas garland from the Dollar Tree. Starting at the top, I'm just twisting and turning and hot gluing it in place and just going around and around the ball. It does have wire, so it's kind of easy to work with just as long as you hot glue and hold. Just go around the whole ball until it's all filled with the green Christmas garland. For a cleaner look, now I'm giving my topiary a little bit of a haircut. Then I'm grabbing some of my chalked paint again and just brushing it really lightly, kind of like dry brushing all over with the foam brush. And this is going to give it that snowy look that I absolutely love. After that, we're ready to hot glue the pine cones right onto the tree. And we are done with the top part. I wanted to bring nature into my topiary so I did not want it to be an empty dowel. I just gave it one coat of chalk paint, just the part that's going to be shown and then I had some twigs or sticks that I have left over from a project that I'm preparing for you guys that has to do with, you know, with nature and I had them painted already white. And I'm just hot gluing straight to the stem. I'm measuring how much I need, meaning, you know, that bottom part, that's actually going to be in the bucket, so you don't need anything there. And I'm just putting some of these painted white sticks right along the dowel, and it gave it such a beautiful and a natural look. Using the same Christmas garland, I'm just going around the bottom of the bucket and just filling in that space right there and then going towards the bottom a little bit to make it look like it's falling over the bucket. Then shave it if you need to with the scissors if it's sticking out too much. And then once again, using my chalk paint, I'm just dry brushing 
all over and actually I ended up cutting it just a little bit after I dry brushed it because then you could see the little edges sticking out a little bit more. To complete the look, I'm grabbing some of this beautiful checkered Valentine's ribbon that I got from the Dollar Tree and I cut off about 12 inches and made a cute little bow. What do you guys think? I think this one turned out super cute and simple. For this project, it's best to choose pine cones that have a little tail on them and I chose three that I thought would be perfect for this. Now I'm just grabbing some Rust-Oleum chalk paint and I'm just brushing the outside of the pine cones. Here's the ribbon that I will be using. First I'm grabbing my quarter inch red ribbon and I'm going to cut it in three small pieces and this is actually what I'm going to use to bring all the bows together. Now I'm going to put it on the side. Now I'm pre-measuring the length of the red ribbon that I'm going to need for the bow and I'm going to cut three pieces of that length. Next I'm going to pre-measure the lace ribbon and cut three pieces. To make the bow, I'm grabbing the long red ribbon, wrapping it around my fingers three times to make three loops, and then just grabbing that little ribbon that we cut in the beginning and bringing it together. Now I'm grabbing my lace ribbon, making a simple bow and attaching it to the first red bow. Now grabbing some floral wire from the Dollar Tree, I'm cutting about a six inch piece and I will be securing it to that top little tail of the pine cone. Now I'm grabbing my grow grain ribbon that I will be using to hang my little pine cone on and leaving almost an inch tail. I'm securing the ribbon to the pine cone using the little wire and I will also be hot gluing it in place just in case. Now I'm just cutting my ribbons to the length that I want and you want some of the pine cones to be higher, some of them to be a little lower and now I'm just hot gluing my little bows to the front of the pine cones. To the, to the middle of my little bows I am adding little Dollar Tree pom poms that I got last year for Christmas just to balance out the white and the red in the front of the bow. Now using the same technique where I take the ribbon and wrap it around my finger, I make a big bow. So I make one with my polka dot ribbon, which is the grow grain ribbon, the red ribbon and the lace. Now I'm just bringing all the pine cones together by hot gluing the tips of the ribbons and then I'm going to attach the pine cone bundle to the back of the big bow that I just made. I'm sorry this part did not get recorded but I also added a piece of red ribbon and looped it so I can use it to hang this little piece. Grabbing a bigger pom pom I'm adding it to the center of the bow. In the end, I decided to add one more ribbon to the back of the bow so it stands out a little bit more. I'm just using this polka dot burlap ribbon that I got at the Dollar Tree and I think it toned down a lot of that red and white. This project is very shabby but I think it's shabby, classy and perfect for Christmas. For this project I'm using this art piece from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to be using the back of it. And the first thing I did was remove that little piece that is meant to hang the art. And then I just painted the whole canvas white along with all the walls. Now I'm adding Zinc Grey by Americana to the background of my little project. And when I'm done with that I will be adding a little bit of white here and there. I'm not trying to imitate wood or anything like that. I just wanted to give the gray background a little bit of dimension and just did not want it to be a solid gray background. So I just played around with it. You can see that my gray paint is still wet when I'm doing this process and it just gave a little bit of a fun look to the background. 
Next, you're going to take your pine cones and cut them in half or in three, depending on how big your pine cones are. And you're kind of making these little flowers. And oh my goodness, you need to be strong to do this. They're very difficult to cut. Next, I'm grabbing my white chalk paint and painting all my little pine flowers. These are so much fun to do, you guys. Next, you're going to find the center of your art piece and just mark it with anything that you have just to have a center point. And then I'm grabbing some of this reindeer moss and just kind of putting it all around the little circle that you can kind of see and just hot gluing it in place. Now I'm grabbing my pine cone flowers and putting them around my wreath. I started with the bigger ones and spread them out. And then I'm just using the little ones, fill in the spaces in between and just hot gluing everything in place. For my flowers, I decided to use these little bundles, these little puffs and I got these at Christmas at the Dollar Tree last year and I'm going to cut them in half and hot glue them to the center of the flowers. Now I'm just grabbing a little piece of Valentine's ribbon from the Dollar Tree. I'm making a simple bow and just hot gluing it to the top center of my little piece. And just hot gluing it to the top center of the wreath. you enjoyed my pine cones DIYs let me know down below which one was your favorite because I had an absolute blast making these DIYs with that being said thank you so much for stopping by and watching if you are not subscribed to my channel please consider subscribing and hitting that thumbs up button and I will see you all in my next video bye guys Mwah.